Unfortunately, trans people are scapegoated a lot, queer people, but especially trans people, when it comes to uh, election times. While the first L'Oreal School Division board meeting of the school year was virtual, people gathered here at the school division's office to show their support for 2S LGBTQ plus people. Roughly 100 people descended upon the front parking lot for what has been dubbed an anti-hate rally. The rally comes after the September board meeting was moved online due to the June meeting being interrupted by supporters of Francine Champagne, an LRSD trustee who posted anti 2 LGBTQ plus remarks on social media. Kay Ronarski is the organizer of the event and says it was important for 2 LGBTQ plus students to know that there are people in the community who care for them. The anti-LGBTQ people uh, stormed into the building and made all these disgusting, unwanted comments and uh, generally just made me feel unsafe and unwelcome in my own school division, in my own home. And I thought, well, if, if I feel this way, how must, how must a young person feel? Who, who attends school in this, in this area. It's unfortunate uh, that in 2023, we have people who will actively invest uh, time and energy and money to, to try and control a narrative uh, that is based on misinformation and lies and, and hate speech. Wernarski is also a teacher and partly blames the rise in parental rights legislation across North America as to why more hate is being directed towards the community. These are parents that only want to be involved to say, I don't want to hear about any queer kids. Advocates say as the discussion of 2S LGBTQ plus topics in schools becomes used more as a tool to cause division, voters need to start paying more attention to who they elect as a school trustee. People need to do their homework before they vote for a school trustee. When you have a child or a student, they spend more time in school than they do practically with you at home. People on school boards people employed by schools, when they publicly share messages like that, it creates some fear. As a community, what we need to do is look, take a step back, look at what's happening right now with this far right extremist agenda and figure out a way to just stop it. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.